At Constant Lab, we design and build training aids for automotive, heavy vehicle, and electrical engineering. Today, I want to show you one of our exciting new products. This is our EM200-28 Driveshaft Working Angle Trainer. Now, this trainer is designed to help demonstrate and simplify the complex acceleration and deceleration phenomenon that occurs in revolving universal drives and drive shafts operating at various angles. So, how does it work? Just like on a car or truck, we have a drive shaft with two universal drives. We have an engine or motor that's going to turn this drive shaft. We'll turn it on now. Here we can see the drive shaft is turning. Now, with the angles the same and the universal joints in line, we have no acceleration or deceleration happening. And there's a couple ways that we can show this. One, we can show it visually. We can also show it audibly. So, if I take business card and we listen. sounds the same. By changing perspective, we can see visually that at every point along the shaft, it's turning at the same speed. Now obviously, if the shaft was always in a straight line and there was no angles involved, we would never have any problems. So what happens when we introduce an angle into a system with two universal joints? Here we can see the speed is constant. Now we have an acceleration and deceleration. Now at this end, because the universal joints are in phase, the accelerations and decelerations cancel out. Now let's listen to the noises. Here, in the middle, we can hear a difference in the noise. We're hearing the acceleration and deceleration. So as long as the two angles are the same, the accelerations and decelerations will cancel out. But what happens if the angles aren't the same? Here we can see that we don't have the same angle for this universal joint as for this one. And let's listen to what happens now. Here we have a constant noise. Here we can hear the accelerations and decelerations. Now remember, this time, they're not going to cancel up. So let's listen at this end. Now we've greatly exaggerated the accelerations and decelerations of the drive shaft. With the angles exaggerated, it's very easy to see visually the acceleration and deceleration of the drive shaft. We can do even more than just adjust the working angle of the drive shaft. The angle can be adjusted. The height difference between the two universal joints or the two shafts can be shown. We can also show what happens when you have a slip joint or when you have we can lock this and we can show a fixed length drive shaft and we can deface or change the positioning of the two universal joints. Now with the two universal joints out of phase and with an exaggerated angle let's see just how much acceleration and deceleration we can demonstrate. Here, it's extremely exaggerated, and we can hear that the shaft is almost stopping on every rotation. Here we can see the drive shaft operating in the most exaggerated accelerations and decelerations. At this end, we have a constant speed. In the middle, we have some accelerations and decelerations, and now we have the maximum exaggeration. Now, you may be thinking, this would be awesome for my classroom. 
But what happens if my students put one of their fingers or their pencil, maybe they've got long hair or jewelry and it gets caught on here? Well, when we designed this, we designed it so that if ever a student grabs a hold of the shaft or something interferes, it automatically stops. Now, this product's been designed to make your life easier as a teacher. To find out more about our products, visit consolab.com or follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook. Thanks for watching.